Till now, we have discussed installing pixels with standard and custom events and verifying your domain. I discussed in the last video that domain verification will help you establish a connection between your business manager and your website. Now, this connect will authorize the business manager to configure and prioritize the eight conversion events per domain for optimization and reporting. So as I said, domain verification part is already done and you can check that out by clicking on the I button and we will now set up aggregated events and give them priority ranking. Go to events manager overview, then select the pixel which you configured. Click on aggregated event measurement and then configure web events. It will take you to this screen. Then click on the manage events or edit events, whatever appears on your screen. Then you will see this particular dialog box. Read this and then confirm and move on to the next screen by clicking edit. In the next screen, you add events and set their priority. Now let's click on the add event and then select the pixel and the event which you want to track. I'll add one more event so that I can clearly set the priority. The one which is at the topmost has the highest priority and one which is just below it has lower than the one which is just above it. And the one which is all the way at the bottom most has the lowest priority. So if you are an e-commerce brand, then you will allocate the highest priority to purchase events. And if you are a B2B, then you will associate the same to the lead. Now, why is this important? Now let me explain it with the help of an example. If someone installs Facebook and Facebook through prompt asks for permission to track them and they choose no, then in this condition, Facebook will be able to track only one event. So they must have done a lot of things that would have triggered a lot of events like page view, add to cart, scroll 50% and a lot more, but none of them will be tracked but the one which is set to the highest priority from the priority list, from the events that he has just performed. So it is absolutely important for you to understand the importance of the priority list and give the priority after due diligence. Like if you feel add to wish list is more important for your business than the add to cart, then give it a higher priority in the priority list than the add to cart. So you have to decide what is your end goal and give that event the highest priority. And then these will be the conversion events that can be used in the conversion type campaign and Facebook will optimize around these particular events. One bonus hack is to enable the value optimization for the purchase because that will make Facebook spend more on people who are likely to spend more. Then click apply and then confirm the changes and tick mark the checkbox and hit apply and you will see that the changes have been implemented to your verified domain. In the next video, we'll talk about finding top of the funnel audience or maybe just talk about audiences for your campaigns. Also, this video was the part of course on how to run Facebook ads and you can access the full course over here. Until next time, bye bye.